Uh, what's in Erev Shabbos? Uh, we're going to go straight to the point. We're speaking about Kalim. Kalim, in, before we explain that others have a nature to go up, Kalim bring it down. Kalim are Matthias, and it is this first step of our coming down and creating worlds. In this little shtickle that we're doing for Erev Shabbos, it speaks about the Kalim of Atsilis and the Kalim of Kesu, which is higher than Atsilis. The Kalim of Atsilis are, the analogy is, written, the written word, where you have the paper and you have something separate which is filtering the R, and it's something which is channeling the light, and then there's Kesu. The Kalim in Kesu has Isis HaKakika. Oisias Akakika means they're internally, they're internally, the Kaylee's kind of internal. It's actually part of the paper. On the other hand, it's still there. It is a Metzias. This part of the rock, let's say, you have a rock and you engrave something on the rock. The part of the rock that's engraved, that part is actually there. It's a Metzias. So you have the Metzias and you have the fact that it's going down, being brought down to the next level, being channeled down. And the, the, the Rabbi Roshab explains the difference between the Kalim of Kesser and the Kalim which is even higher than Kesser. The Kalim that are even higher than Kesser, it's not even the Metzias. It's like Oisius, which are through and through, that go straight through the rock. Yes, it's channeled what's meant to be, meant to be there, but it's not an actual existence. The Kalim, the Kalim of Kesa already brings that existence to life, and we're again funneling the light. The light, in essence, wants to go up. Kalim bring it down. Kalim are a Matthias, and that's what we are doing. Erev Shabbos, a good Erev Shabbos, everybody. Have a wonderful week and an inspired week. L'chaim.